how to launch Kali Linux on Mac operating system using VirtualBox. In the previous demo, we used VMware, and now we'll be using VirtualBox. But actually, I'm not using any Mac system here, operating system. But I'll show you how to install using VirtualBox. The procedure is very similar. So all you have to do is on your Mac operating system, go ahead and click off for VirtualBox download. So this is the VirtualBox official page. You can go ahead and click on downloads here. As you can see, you have different options here. It says Windows for Windows operating system, OS X host, Linux, and Solar host. Since if you're using Windows, then go ahead and select Windows host. But as for Mac, you'll have to select this. It's mostly a .exe file. Once you've done that, you can install VirtualBox. It's just click on next, 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 and it'll work out. And provide settings according to your need. I already have installed VirtualBox. The next thing you do is similar as what you've done with VMware. Go ahead and download official Kali Linux image. Make sure you don't download any duplicate versions of ISO file from other websites. Make sure you download it from original website. If you want to do it from the beginning, go ahead and install ISO file here, torrent, or you can just go ahead and download just the image for v virtual box here for 64 bit and you have option for 32 bit as well. I've already done that. So let me open my virtual box. Yeah, here it is. The procedure for VMware and VirtualBox is almost same, just slight difference. Let me maximize the screen for you guys. As you can see, I already have a virtual machine launched up here. I haven't powered it up yet. Anyway, I'll show you how to install new one. Just click on new option here. This is your VirtualBox homepage, guys. So click on new here and just give a name. We've already given Kali Linux earlier, right, for the virtual machine. So let's give it some other name. Let's say capital K L Linux and choose the type of operating system that's Linux and here is 64 bit minus 64 bit according to your operating system needs you can go ahead and choose 32 bit as well click on next and again like I said earlier depending on what you're doing on Kali Linux operating system or virtual machine you go ahead and assign the memory since I'm just showing you how to install I'm not assigning much memory here so let's just retain the default 1024 MB that's 1 GB and click on next and it's asking you have a three options here you have not to add virtual hard disk, create a virtual hard disk now, and you can go ahead and add a virtual hard disk here. Use an external virtual hard disk. Go ahead and select the second option, click on create, and use virtual box image. Like I said earlier, we downloaded ISO image, right? And it's an ISO file with extension .iso. So basically, it's nothing but image. So click on next, and I want to the storage on physical hard disk to be assigned dynamically, and click on next. So this is the name of the virtual machine which we just gave earlier. It's asking you to choose the path wherever you want to store your virtual machine. Let's say documents and virtual machines. Click on open and save. So that's the path I've set up. And as for the memory, Kali always needs you to assign at least 20 GB. So let's go ahead and give 20 GB. You can always assign more than that. And click on create. So this is the one we just created, right? It's ready. Just click on settings before you power up. You'll have to make certain settings. So if you want to change name or type and version, you can always go ahead and do that here. We don't have anything in advance. It's just the folder where your virtual machine will be stored. Go for systems. We won't be using any floppy disk here. So right. So untick it or uncheck it. And yeah, this is memory. If you want to go ahead and change or assign more memory because the performance of your virtual machine is not that great, you can go ahead and do that. For the processor, make sure you enable this extended features. So basically, if you want to increase the performance of your virtual machine, the number of processors you assign should increase. Well, for now, since I'm just showing you how to install, I'm just going to assign one. You have option to increase to say two like that. And as for the display, you can enable 3D acceleration display. Storage settings, this is the most important one. Right now, we don't have any image attached here. So click on this empty and click on the CD image that you see here and choose virtual disk and attach the image or the ISO file, torrent file which you just downloaded. Click on open and audio, no settings, default network. By default, you can always set it for NAT since we're using only one virtual machine here. But if you want to use the Kali Linux with any other virtual machine like Metasploitable 2, you can go ahead and use this host only adapter option here. Because when you use NAT and when you have two virtual machines, both of them will be assigned with same IP address, which will definitely be a problem because both of these virtual machines need to interact, right? So yeah, well, I'm just saying all this for the information. So you can go ahead and click on host only adapter if you're using two virtual machines and you want them to interact. As for now, I'm just retaining it NAT. And rest, you can, you don't have to make any changes. And click on OK. 
once you've made all the settings click on this or you can go ahead and click on start option here or you can right click on it and start again like i said the installation process from step one is very similar to that we did using vmware so again you'll be greeted with kali boot screen and you have multiple options again i'm not repeating the entire thing here so go ahead and click on graphical install and if you're a pro and using command line you can always go for install option and if you want to just use it for one time purpose you can always go for live option here that's all guys i'm sure you can catch up from here right because it's almost similar for the ones we did using vmware if you have any doubt just go back and take a look at it yeah well like i said i showed you on how to use virtualbox to install kali linux on windows operating system well it's same for the mac as well you just have to download your stuff there instead of windows you have another option with this operating system you can dual boot your kali linux with windows or mac it's not as easy as these installation process because it will involve you setting the bios changes that you get to see when you power up your computer initially so make sure you refer to kali linux official documentation and make sure you've done the installation properly so that you won't mess up your default settings